Hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode of Wine Library TV. I'm your host, Gary Vaynerchuk. And today we're going to be doing the first wine from the Gary Vaynerchuk Wine Library TV six pack that we sent out about 10 days ago. If you don't know what I'm talking about, about 10 days ago or so we emailed out a six pack that we sold. We didn't mention the wines and I got your comments and next time we do this we will mention the wines. Uh, we didn't mention the wines and we basically, hopefully what you're doing now is you're going through your six pack, you're putting me on pause and you're looking for your first wine which is the Con Blau 2004 Monsant, which is a tremendous, tremendous wine. Um, basically, uh, what we're going to do here is we've got six wines, and here's my plan. I'm going to do this video today for Thursday night, and then tomorrow I'm going to do two wines together for Friday night. Then I'm going to tape a couple more for Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to see if I can execute that with my computer department. If I can't, you'll see them Monday or Tuesday. But I felt that it'd be fun to do it over the weekend because I guess that's when you might have some time to do uh, this experiment. So, for many of you at home, a couple hundred, you've got these wines and you're going to go through them with me and we'll have a lot of fun. For those who don't have the six pack, hopefully you'll be involved next time. But if not, maybe you have this wine or you can go out and get it and then watch it again. But what we're going to do is going to go through this wine very carefully and uh, really analyze it and talk about it. So. Once again, 2004 Comblau Monsant. This is a Grenache Syrah Carignan blend. It's imported by Jorge Ordonez. So what I want you to do now is go in the back and kind of read the label. It's got a whole nice little thing about Monsant, which is basically a uh, part of the Priorat, the other side, poor man's Priorat, a lot of people like to call it. Basically because Prio rat wines in Spain are commanding an exceptionally high value. And uh, the Monstant, uh, which is, is a new Dio, uh, is, uh, is really a tremendous bargain. And that's where, why I really put this in this six pack. I thought this would be a great wine to introduce you into really interesting Spanish wines if you've never had one. Um, what I think you'll notice first and foremost is when you look at this wine, it's got a very dark color. This is something I would say, and let me just pull this over here. This is right there. This is something I'd call, you know, purple to black. You know, this is not as dark as some of the ones, but when you look straight down on it, it's pretty dark, but I'd call this on the purple side. Now, let's get really into this. So grab the glass, swirl it around. I've had this open for about 13 to 15 minutes, so I just popped it. So again, if you just opened it, no big deal. It's probably in the same place. You may want to decant if that's what's good for your palate. As we all know how that goes. I think you smell a little bit of a, a licorice. If you're first just smelling it and you haven't tasted a lot of wine, you may smell the alcohol, a little bit of wood, subtle wood. But it's got an interesting nose, but pretty closed. I bet you're not getting too much out of it. Let's taste it. I'm spitting again at the comfort of your own home. I'm sure you can drink this. Let me take a little sip to drink to see what you guys are tasting. I think the first thing you'll notice is that there definitely is a little bit of hot tannics aspect to it. Um, it's got some tannin structure that's really, really nice though. But I definitely feel a little bit of heat from the alcohol. Let's just take a quick look. You know, it's a 14.5 which probably means it's a little bit more because they didn't want to pay the taxes on the alcohol content. So it's a big wine. Again, for me, I really get a little bit of the strawberry, a little bit of the chocolate, cocoa aspect. It's dry on the palate, kind of in that mid-palate towards the end when you're drinking it. You can see it getting a little dry. But it's got a pleasant flavor. If you're at home and you've got a cheese... Or, or, or some bread, you should eat some because it'll really cut through the tannins and you'll be able to taste that strawberry and a little bit of that fruit a little bit more. Long finish. Good complexity. It's a firm tannin, tannic structure. It's got a nice finish, but the finish I think you'll taste, if you agree with me, it's a little bitter. And I think it's mainly because it's an 04. It's a very young wine. 
Again, this is a 90-point Parker wine. He likes bigger wines. It's a nice wine, and I think a wine that I think you'll all agree is going to get better over the next four or five years. Also, what you can do, and which would be really fun, I'm going to do this as well, and we'll do this tomorrow. This is where this six-pack gets really fun. Here's what I'm going to do. Hopefully, you can do it too. I'm not going to finish this, and I'm going to keep it open the whole night. I'm going to leave it on my desk, and then tomorrow, when we're doing the other wines, we'll bring this out first and taste it again. So put this on your kitchen counter. Don't pump it. Don't put the cork back in. Just leave it on the kitchen counter. Let's taste it tomorrow. I think you're going to be completely stunned of where this wine goes. I'm really excited to see that. Hope you enjoyed the first episode of the Little Tasting Session. We'll see you tomorrow on Wine Library TV.